excuse the uh, blanket behind my head. It's still cold in the mountains. Oh, good old Debbie Gaza commented on how curly my hair was. This is what I get uh, when I just wash my hair and do nothing with it. Anyway, yes, I've got curls. Um, I wanted to do a small prequel before this to explain to you that uh, today was a difficult day. And uh, you will see some very raw emotion at times in this video. Uh, going into walking around and showing you the damage from the flooding and if you stick around to the end of the video you'll see more flooding today um, anyway I'm gonna put this together and then I'll come back and talk to you again what's up world this is Monday morning I think I'm actually uh I don't know, I haven't particularly felt well uh, since I got home. I think I got some sort of a chest cold going on because, you know, five days interacting with the world and a day on an airplane and it, uh, I don't know, man, I didn't sleep for shit last night. I was up all night coughing and anyway, I'm going to make a quick video here to show you what's going on and show you what my uh, potential future plans are. At least as of now, however, we are expecting a bunch of rain this week and this could all be subject to change because it could all flood again because of this bullshit pipe. So let me turn you around and show you what we accomplished yesterday. All right, firstly, you can see, I'm going to have to go through all this. I'm going to end up getting rid of most of that. I'm going to keep the treated stuff, uh, burn the pallets, this whole area. There's my old front porch. There's steps. Those used to be uh, over there, but now they're here. So all this was rock at one point. You can see it's now all mud. This creek bed, that was new gravel. Uh, over here where I'm standing, um, used to be deeper than waist deep. This whole thing used to be waist deep and now it's practically level with uh, the yard. And you'll see this big, stupid, ugly fucking pipe uh, but really, if this is all the more water that's here, why couldn't the person just drive over that on a daily basis? Because it isn't like when this floods and there's a river, like you saw, that was literally everywhere from where I'm, from where I'm standing, all the way over to about here. When there's a river crossing this road, you can't cross it anyway. So what the fuck difference would it make if this pipe was gone and you just, you drove through this little creek wouldn't make any difference because anyway this was a job um, as you can see there's, you know, there's a beer can over there this is all garbage that washes down the creek now let me explain to you what my what my neighbors try to tell me that this was my fault okay number one this is their fucking road that crosses my piece of dirt I own to about 10 inches on the other side of this road right here. You can see where the inlet of this pipe starts down there. I had a pile of branches stacked up here that I was going to have a fire at some point somewhere, probably over here when this was gravel and not all dirt. <coughs> I had a pile of branches that were stacked here on top of the pipe, meaning that this had to have flooded and came up. They're trying to tell me that this stack of branches on here is why this pipe flooded. I mean, look at how deep that is. You can get down in there. This whole creek needs to be that deep. Now, they try to tell me that the pile of branches that is post-entrance to the pipe that have blatantly washed away were the reason that this pipe flooded and not because this pipe is a bullshit piece of shit. Now, let me show you what we pulled out of this pipe. You see this metal right here? We pulled a fucking dog kennel. Oh look, switcher sweet wrappers. We pulled a dog kennel um, out of that pipe that washed downstream. I'm not going to make any presumptions because there's been people living out here for a hundred years, but you know, that's part of the inside of a dog kennel, like a separator on a big one. And if you look over here at this mess, those two kennels are accounted for. The one that I had over here that the goats were living in at one point when they were here around that pile of debris 
is accounted for. I gave that to the man who brings me firewood because he's got a big dog and he needed it. So all three of the dog kennels that I had, have had, whatever, are accounted for. That was in the middle of the pipe and that's what was causing the shit. Now this big log here washed from somewhere upstream. Uh, there's a fence pole that washed down from God only knows where that fence pole washed down from. Um, this property that I live on has never had a fence. Um, but like this stuff, I could walk you down here if I was really feeling froggy and show you the branches that I had stacked here. That This was not my problem. The whole side of this thing is an issue. Washes out, the water comes out over here because this pipe just fills full of shit because it's got a hole in it. Okay, somehow this is my fault. My fault. Not theirs. Garbage. It flows down the creek. Look, there's somebody's turkey pan that washed down the creek after Thanksgiving. Um, anywho, somehow shit that was, they're saying is my problem, and the people refuse to even have a conversation without starting an argument. Uh, the same argument, uh, because I mentioned putting up a gate. Now, let me show you, or I should say, a, a fence. Now, let me show you what I mean by putting up a fence. Now, the word fence is offensive around here. The rest of the world's worried about pronouns and, and rainbow soup colors. Apparently, the word fence out here, unless it's got to do with your fucking cows, is offensive because, God forbid, something changed. Anyway, let me show you what I mean by putting up a fence. Now... Let me get to the fence, but let me show you some of the things that are happening along the way that are going to make me, number one, that plug. This here was over here when we bought this house. That's about four feet, give or take. So I'm going to have to figure out, I've got some cedar logs up here, how to cut those down and cement those in to keep this from uh, eroding my yard with all of the garbage that comes down the creek. And when I say garbage that comes down the creek, I mean, I've gone through and picked up, there's still a soda bottle trash bags okay it's a super good time you look over here there's even a tent pole how the fuck a tent pole gets in there is beyond me but in an effort to combat that with the giant debris floating down here let me walk you back here a little bit all right so you might remember i got all this goat fence from all these goats that i had all these i had three i'm going to take this one down over here and i'm going to cut it in sections and this is a good spot for one as any I'm gonna run a fence pole in and a fence pole in and cut a section of that so that it catches debris about here the water will flood around it not be able to go up this hill and come back down so I will encourage flooding in this section here to keep it from washing further down and let me go up further to the next spot I want to put a fence You see, now this is what I mean by depth of creek. Well, we're talking about the fence. This is, I don't know, 100 yards from my back porch, maybe, and about mid chest high. Um, and all this gravel gathers and it's going to continue to flood my house because of that pipe. But back here, it's hard to see the contour of the land. But I figure if I put another fence back in here, It'll catch more garbage, more debris, more shit. Bring it up here and back down into the creek down. And perhaps when I get back there and do it, I'll show you the, I'm gonna put another, maybe two of them. I gotta figure out now that all this ivy's dead on these trees where my property line ends back here. But I wanna have a series of at least three or four panels of that. Number one, it's gonna keep the garbage from floating down the creek so that I'm not constantly picking up bottles, turkey pans, dog kennels, uh, you know, dead bodies, whatever it is that decides to flow up here. But I figure if I can encourage the debris to get stopped up back here and flood this chunk of land that nobody uses and take the contours to bring the water back in so that it stays on the, the right side of the creek here, instead of the left side where my house is at um, that I should be able to discourage at least like look at this this is one little spot this is all brand new too 
And this is what I've been dealing with the whole time. I mean, like Dollar General bags, trash bags, electrical wires. Okay. I'm going to have to do... <laughs> this bag from the local gas station. Something else that's fancy. When I, I'll get back up to the front and I'll show you something else I'm going to have to do. Uh, my yard's full of ketchup packets from fast food restaurants. And there isn't fast food for a minute from here. And they're not... <laughs> oh... Who throws ketchup in the creek? But anyway, that's going to explain that. That'll be a fence post, fence post, uh, fence on the other side of it so that the water pushes this direction on it and doesn't push it off of it. Um, but like I said, we've got weather coming, so I, coming out here right now is going to be a waste of my time because uh, it's all going to... I'm not going to have time to do it, and it's all going to wash probably back out and flood again at some point this week. It's supposed to rain heavy the next two days. But I'll take you back up front and show you what's going on around the container. And for anybody local who might be watching this who wants to say that it's all of my debris, that I got leaves. I got leaves and some sticks, okay? I got 10 acres here. There's probably 1,000 acres between where the creek starts and here, and you're going to try to tell me that my leaves... And sticks are the problem, and it ain't that fucking pipe. Anywho, yeah, let me take you back up front. One more side note before we get to the front. Well, I want to talk about garbage in the creek. You walk up here to the edge of my dirt where these people live, this whole hillside, they've been throwing their garbage over the side. Hell, there's part of a car up there behind a tree. They've been throwing their garbage down the side of that hill for, I don't know, 50 years or something. You know, my stack of branches, right? Maybe I should just join the crew here, the folks in Lee County, and literally just start burning tires and throwing my garbage in the creek. Um, I'm gonna have to build a new bridge, see how that works. Um, yeah, somehow my pile of sticks on top of it. You just saw the creek back there. And you saw, you can see here, how far this shit flooded. Okay. Chest high. Back there. Okay. This used to be at least three feet deep. This pile of gravel right there. That's three feet of gravel that I'm going to have to dig out of there in order for that to flow correctly. Which I don't have the time, patience, or anything today. But look. Haven't got to sweeping yet. Catch up packet. Uh, I think I might actually pick the. There was about 14 ketchup packets out here that I actually picked up. But then you come into this area here. That uh, this used to be gravel. This is where my firewood is at. I'm gonna have to rip all this shit out of here. These pallets are gonna have to come out and be burned. They're all nasty, wet, full of leaves. You can't step in this dirt. I'm going to have to move that gravel from over there to here, but i got to move all this firewood first. I think I'm just going to make a bed here and plant some flowers, like I spoke of in the last video, maybe some beans. Um, we'll see, but I'm going to make a bed there um, and plant something. But now, oh, then we got this over here from the flood, you know. Even if this road didn't, it wasn't on my land. Sure would be nice if you fucking maintained it. There's my other bridge that uh, I've decided this is Lee County and there's garbage everywhere. So I'm just going to leave that there and let people stare at it like everybody else leaves their garbage everywhere to stare at. Um, but you can see what it did to this field. You know, it, it, it plugged up there and come up over the top. Okay, and furthermore to the kennel, kennel that was in there, you know, this gets branches and sticks and nobody will even get out of their car and look at it. Let me see how far I can get with this before it starts pouring rain. Any minute. Good times. Here comes the rain. Lightened up for a little bit. It was pouring there a second ago, but 
see how long that we're in the rain, huh? Sorry, I'm a little out of breath of the hauling shit. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> apologies for uh, the level of frustration and uh, complaining that's in this video. Um, I just, <laughs> I mean, you see what I'm dealing with. And I mean, I feel like I've come out here and I've tried to be fair with every person and treat them like a human being. And I, really, I literally have only got like two people left out here. Three, excuse me, because the firewood guy is all right too. But the dudes that worked under the house with me on the floors, they're still uh, all right guys. I don't have any issues with them. <laughs> Seems like every other person I've interacted with around here at some point that like you have two good interactions and then it's just like fuck you. So I'm gonna try to find something to eat. Uh, all this hair, continue to throw wood on this fire to burn the brush. I'm not quite sure where this video is gonna end, but this isn't gonna be it. Been out here all fucking day working on this goddamn yard. A little bit of rain. Let me show you where it's coming from. I'm fucking excited. Yeah, my truck's in a puddle. We need to close up the container so it doesn't flood, man. I swear to God, man, these neighbors of mine need to do something. I'm about ready to lose my fucking shit. Let me go show you. They got a river running down their fucking road they don't maintain. I've even got the pipe clear and it's still flooding my whole fucking yard and it's all their goddamn water. All right, let's go take a look. Boy, oh boy. Just like that. Look at the shit running down this road that they don't fucking maintain. You know, let me walk through here, get my socks wet. You know, we spent five fucking hours out here yesterday opening up this pipe. It's gonna get plugged the fuck up again just for this shit to happen. So I guess I need to dig a fucking trench. I need to fuck their road up completely. Because, you know, it isn't like they're maintaining it. It's all just running down the hill into my yard. Um, crossing over underneath of this gravel, flowing back out. Because the water's... I mean, how the fuck am I supposed to live like this? Man, I've been out here in this yard for eight fucking hours today. Burning shit, moving shit around. You know, like I said, we spent... Like four and a half hours out here yesterday fucking around with this. It's flooding. But now all this shit. And the way this is, it's running parallel with my fucking yard. I cut it. Cut it. It's still running under this gravel. And look. See if I can't fall on my fucking head. It's running through the yard. And right back into the field across the fucking street. You know, mind you, it has been fucking 10 days. <laughs> 10 days since the original rain, you know, and I realize I need to spread some dirt out and shit. But, you know, the, real, the, the fact that these people who live up here and whose road this is won't take responsibility for five fucking minutes that this shit is happening because of their fucking pipe. This video is surely going to get demonetized. And uh, if any of you fuckers who uh, live up this road should happen to find this, you know exactly who the fuck you are, Mr. Purple Dodge. Fix your fucking road. I'm going to go hire an attorney. I mean, it's been sprinkling on and off. We got 15 minutes of rain, and this is what happens now with 15 minutes of rain in this yard. That tire mark is mine. <laughs> that river coming down the road is not mine. I have had about enough of this. Because it's, it's literally just going to flow underneath of this sand. Like it's doing. Right into the road. Because the whole, the whole creek bed is three feet taller than it needs to be. And flow right on down the road. Look, it's even cut its own path to go backwards. So the water that's coming down is going up creek before it goes down. Isn't that exciting? 
I guess I'm gonna go put my phone away and get a shovel and uh, see about just digging holes in this road and hoping that I can divert this bullshit. Ah! Fuck! Well, there's today's video. Um, tomorrow I need to go get some supplies, um, but I don't know if I'm gonna even be able to get. Anyway, I have to go get some more stuff to, at some point in the next couple of days, and I may not be able to get out of uh, anywhere tomorrow. Um, we'll see. I have a lot of work going forward. I have plans for a bridge drawn up uh, with mostly stuff that I have here. When I spoke earlier about the two guys that worked under my house, it was kind of funny. They stopped by uh, earlier because they uh, they actually run excavating equipment for a living. Um, and depending on uh, how finances and things go in the next week, um, I may actually be... Well, I would really like to be able to hire them to come and work in the yard, but that's going to take probably... Probably pretty close to exactly the same amount of money that I just spent on motel rooms and food riding with my mother to uh, Arizona, but that's neither here nor there. Um, anyhow, uh, videos are going to be way more frequent until things get caught up. Um, I've got a couple of lawn mowers I need to rebuild because they have water in the motor. i got to at least pull spark plugs out of them, uh, sparkulators, spark plugs, put some marvel mystery oil or some pb blaster or something down in the uh, spark plug holes and let them sit i'm going to try to make one good lawnmower out of two uh, the bridge may not happen for a couple of weeks because getting the creek to not flood our house takes priority over that i've been outside with a shovel most of the day which is super exciting anyway that'll do it for now um I'll turn the bells on because more stuff will be coming this week and you'll see some progress uh Got some ideas about some things and some stuff that I need to do. I never got to building the actual floodgates that I, uh, uh, or fences, what are you going to call about it, that I, I spoke about because I was hauling wet wood and trying to get it burned and digging it anyway. That's it for today. Peace out, fuckers.